In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can get ahead of 99% of rappers in 6 to 12 months. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take time, dedication, a lot of effort on your part if you want to outwork people. So let's get into the video. There's so many things I could have put in this video, but I'm going to start with the The first thing that you want to do is you want to get ahead of 99% of artists is analyze your analytics and build a plan to grow your fan base. A lot of artists don't even do this simple step. I've had conversations with a lot of artists and I'd be like, yo, do you know what platform you get the most streams from? Like, I don't know. How do you take that? Like Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists. Like you can check SoundCloud. If you play for the premium, you can check to see where the streams come from. YouTube, you can see where the views come from. You can see all this data on Instagram. You can see where your followers are from what times they're active you can see all of this data but a lot of artists overlook it and it's so simple because how are you going to market yourself run targeted ads to grow your fan base if you don't know your target demo that's receptive to your art it helps you to know if you got a fan base ranging between 18 to 24 and that's prevalent in houston miami and la that's going to help you to decide where you need to run those ads versus trying to just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks right you might be running ads in new york and you don't have no traction in new york i understand you want to try to spread the traction out and grow fans from everywhere but if you got traction in dallas houston miami and la i would focus on those four cities or just narrow it down to three i would target it down to those three and run ads in those three cities to try to build up those cities because i already got some type of traction there i'm telling you a lot of artists do not look at their analytics they post music and get offline they post a picture don't look at it they never look at the data listen if you want to get ahead of other artists see what your data says because chances are they're not even paying attention to the data they're just posting music posting whatever and that's just it right they probably not even trying to put a plan together they don't even know what their potential fan or their target demo or their ideal fan looks like what their interests are if you can figure that out you can win because you know what songs to make when to drop how to present it to those people tip number two is the easiest but it's the hardest thing to do and that is to create a content schedule and actually post the content that's on your schedule a lot of artists feel like they don't have to make content but you got to understand you have to make content the music is not enough to get you there you have to show your personality you got to figure out what you're going to do how many times are you going to post on your instagram story a day are you going to post one reel a day two stories a day are you going to respond to a certain amount of comments today are you going to reach out to potential fans potential artists to collab with producers videographers um, blog owners what are you going to do you need to figure out like a schedule on what you're going to do are you going to post on tiktok on tuesdays are you going to go in live on instagram on wednesdays are you going to post a youtube video or anything like on thursdays like what are you going to do on sundays are you going to record on saturdays you need to figure out how you're going to record the content how you're going to make the content when you're going to post the content you gotta create a schedule because this is going to help you develop consistency because a lot of artists are not consistent a lot of artists won't do this because it's easy to talk about things right definitely easy to talk it's definitely easy to be like i'm gonna do this on tuesday then tuesday comes and you're not prepared <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's like create a schedule and hold yourself accountable for posting and actually following through on what you're doing because if you're always doing something you're going to develop a habit of getting used to doing things that's going to be beneficial to your career and keyword you want to do things that are beneficial to your career don't just be doing things for the fuck of doing things they have to have a purpose they have to have a reason behind it especially if you want to get ahead of 99 percent of your competition Tip number three. if your music is good the mixing is good this is what you need to do you need to watch marketing videos and branding videos on how to brand yourself establish a brand build a brand market yourself because at the end of the day no matter how good the music is it can't go nowhere if you don't know how to market it correctly and this goes back to learning your analytics that's why that's so important but this tip right here is going to help you learn like when to post how to post the aesthetic what colors work with what you got what you wear all of this stuff how you present yourself are you going to be the introverted mysterious person are you going to be the outgoing person like what are you going to flex what are you going to show are you the person that's into music basketball and art like find a way to fuse all three of those together and now you can kind of like pull people from different 
avenues back to you because at the end of the day you're the product you got to sell you you know what i'm saying the music is marketing the posting is marketing like if you're in the like food and stuff like that you can go record yourself eating at food spots try to record songs in the food spots get your songs played in these spots like go to these places and network with these people that's gonna be beneficial to you but you got to watch the marketing videos. You got to learn how to market yourself. Take notes when you watch the videos. Don't just watch. You need to take notes and you need to try to apply those things that you're learning from the marketing. Because at the end of the day, Coca-Cola is a worldwide known brand. And guess what they do? They still spend billions of dollars on marketing their product, right? The NBA spends money on marketing the product. Nike spends money marketing the product. Apple, they market the product. Samsung, Google, everyone that's worth something, they spend money marketing the product. You might say Lamborghini don't market or Benz don't market. That's cool. But are you Lamborghini? Are you Benz? Are you Dior? You're none of those people. You got to market yourself until you get to that point to where you don't even need to market yourself. So watch marketing videos because I guarantee the artists that you're competing against for those fans, for the attention, for that record deal, they're not going to be giving a fuck about marketing. You know what I'm saying? They're watching a video on how to mix. They're watching a video on how to get a vocal preset. They're watching a 2K streamer. They're watching all this other shit. And in this game or just anything in life, you got to be able to create an advantage, an edge. You got to create some separation. And tip number four, go perform at open mics if you can. This is very important because this is going to help you develop stage presence, get over your fear of rapping in front of people worried about what people think it's gonna help you network with other people you might go to a local venue and perform and people think you dope the owner might think you dope and might want to invite you back and pay you for some shows or something like that you might meet a new fan there you might meet somebody that wants to be a, a photographer for you a videographer they might want to make some beats or send you some beats you might find an artist that might want to collab with you you might find an engineer there it's a lot of possibilities that can happen you know what i'm saying like it might be somebody there that could get your music to somebody that could change your life you never know but at the same time, you just got to get the reps up because a lot of people that rap and they've been doing music for a long time has never performed in front of a crowd of people, regardless if it's five people, 10 people, 100 people or a thousand people performing in front of people is something that you got to get used to doing. It's one thing to rap in your room or rap in front of your homeboys or your sister, or your brother, or your mama, but rapping in front of strangers, that's completely different. So you need to work on your stage presence. That's going to help you get you out your shell. And it might be able to create some opportunities for you, but you can definitely network at those events. And that's content because you can record yourself performing. People don't need to know it's five people in the venue if you're performing. Like you just get the picture from a dope angle. You'd be like, yo, you can show people you're performing. That's just what it is. And that's going to help you track your journey and track your progress. Because honestly speaking, a lot of artists have never performed. And if you could perform and work on your stage presence and your presentation and your show, like a set list and stuff like that, that's going to put you ahead of people. Because whenever you get those big opportunities, you're going to be ready while other people might have to turn it down because they're not ready. They never performed before. And now you can step in and flourish. You know what I'm saying? You can thrive in that element. Tip number five. This is what I need you to do if you really want to get ahead of 99% of rappers. You need to execute on ideas. Not just think about it. Not just say it. Not just write it down. You need to execute because every little goal that you accomplish, that's a stepping stone to the bigger picture. Because if you want to get signed, you just can't decide you want to be a rapper today and then tomorrow you get a record deal. Unless you're the son of a nigga that owns a record label, right? This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be like, okay, I want to be a rapper. I need to learn how to make songs. Okay, I learned how to make songs. Now I need to like find an engineer, get the songs mixed, or I can learn how to mix. Like It's different little stepping stones that you can go to along the way. And then if you're able to execute on your ideas, that's going to make people around you have more confidence, more trust in you. That's going to make people want to support you more if you can execute on ideas. Even if you try to execute and you fail, people will respect that more than somebody not trying. A lot of people fail at chasing their dreams because they're scared of failing, right? They're scared of what other people are going to say. Honestly speaking, being able to execute or go through with a plan will separate you from 99% of people because a lot of people are scared to fail because they're terrified of what other people got to think. Because at the end of the day, a dream is a dream. 
Like, it's a dream. Like, you can say whatever until you try to do it. You still got to do actions. Like, yes, it might be your dream to be a superstar artist. But what are you going to do to get to that level of being a superstar artist? Are you willing to invest $300 on a music video? Are you willing to invest in that $1,000 microphone that can help your sound? Are you willing to buy the interface, the tool tech, the need if you got the money? Are you willing to go to the studio? What are you willing to do to get there? I'm not saying sell your soul, but damn, like you got to be able to execute on ideas. You just can't sit there and talk about it because I know people that talk and talk and talk and talk and never show action they're just talking and people don't take people serious they just talk a lot right it's hard to believe in people that just talk tip number six you need to engage with people that follow you on social media that interact with you comment whatever like you need to engage with those people because if you made it clear from the jump that you're an artist and somebody follows you and they reached out because they're like yo i like your music right or if somebody randomly follows you and they never hit you up you should go Find their page and see if they do music. If they don't do music, chances are they probably found you through your music or something similar, right? So you should hit that person up, introduce yourself, tell them who you are, whatever. Be like, yo, I'm curious. Like, what made you follow me? And if that person be like, yo, I saw a song. I watched a YouTube video. I thought you was dope. So I decided to follow you. They might make beats. They might do graphic art. They might just be a fan. You know what I'm saying? So you need to engage with people who follow you and figure out why they follow you, what made them follow you. You might have a fan and you've just been ignoring them the whole fucking time. Once you get a fan, you need to treat that fan like they're the only person that matters. You need to make them feel special, right? Because you need them to believe in you. And tip number seven is probably going to be a little bit controversial. But if you want to get ahead of 99% of people, you need to see what the herd is doing, all right? See what the herd is doing. Whatever the masses, the herd, whatever people's doing over there. Like if everyone over there is rapping on Yeet beats, using Yeet's vocal preset in FL Studio, walking like, talking like, dressing like, doing the same thing. What you need to do, if they're here, you need to go over here, right? You need to go over here. You need to be different. You got to be okay with being different. If everyone is making Yeet style music, but you want to make Yeet style music, go over here, switch the beat up a little bit, do like R&B, right? Do, do R&B or do drill, do something different. Don't be like everyone else because if you see people that's doing the same thing, they've been doing the same thing for like five years and they're still in the same position, Learn from that, right? Be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be trying to do what everyone else is doing. It's a little bit oversaturated. What I should do is like do something similar, right? But tweak it, put my twist on it, be unique so I could be the leader of something new. Think about it. Like really, really, really think about it, right? Domino's sells pizza. Pizza Hut sells pizza, right? At the end of the day, it's pizza, Okay, follow me, like really follow me. I'm going somewhere with this. You go to Pizza Hut because their pizza tastes a certain way. You wouldn't go to Pizza Hut over Domino's if Pizza Hut and Domino's taste the same and it was both like Domino's close to the crib. Like if it tasted the same, you would just, it wouldn't matter. Whatever one you got to first, that would be the one you chose, right? It's okay to be the same, but different. Like Pizza Hut pizza tastes the same way, right? Their thin crust pizza is made the same way, tastes the same way. Domino's thin crust tastes the same way is different. The pan pizza at Domino's, you can only get it as a medium. You cannot get a large over there at Domino's. You can get a large pizza at Pizza Hut. You know what I'm saying? A large pan pizza over there, right? It's different sis, right? The cheese sticks at Pizza Hut are different. The cheesy bread at Domino's is completely different. But at the same time, they're like the same thing, but they're different. One sells Coke products, the other one sells Pepsi. Down there, same drinks, but different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Like, if you can't be like Ye and all these thousands of other people over here trying to be like Ye, okay? Okay, be like, okay, Ye has these certain elements. I like these elements. I need to put them over here, and this can be me. This can be unique, all right? Travis Scott is over here. Don Tyler is over here. They're somewhere in the middle. They have similarities, but there's enough differences between the two to where... Don Tolliver is not just a blatant copy of a Travis Scott and people can like Travis Scott and people can like Don Tolliver because they do two different things, 
All right, production might be similar, vocal performances might be similar, but the overall messaging, the way they present it is different. So take that information and do whatever you want to do with that. But listen, I challenge you to lock in, figure out what you want to do with this music shit and try to spend the next six to 12 months to take a big leap in your career. Whether you've been doing music six months, a year, five years, a decade, if you have been doing music and you feel like you haven't been getting away, you feel like you're being stuck, try to do some of the things I talked about in the video and hopefully you'll be in a different spot next year. 